We're here at Interzoo 2012 with Robert Reed from Ralph C. Hagen. Robert, tell us a little bit, if you can, about the great products you have as far as nanotanks go. Well, you know, two years ago, what we did, we, we started with a small nanotank under the flu valve brand we called the SPEC, flu valve spec. And basically from that concept, we've expanded it now and went a little bit larger. So the first one was about two gallons, and now we have one with three gallons and five gallons. And it's a very, very simple, nice looking concept for a nano tank. And nothing too special, special about it, except for basically the design. Okay, so basically, we have a very, very, very simple LED light. Nothing's too spectacular about it, but 7,500K lighting. And of course, you got the switch on it for nighttime viewing, very simple, blue LED. The filtration aspect, again, we're trying to keep this as simple as possible, is a large oversized foam pad and two spots we got enough for a biological material, Biomax, and the bottom portion, we have carbon. So the two sizes come in basically white or black. White again, you're looking at the lifestyle aspect of things. It's an, it's an extension of the chi tank we've done, an extension of the edge tank we've done, an extension of the first edge we did, which is 23 liters or five gallons. We went to the 46 liter tank, which is about 14 gallons. We've improved the lighting aspect, went to LEDs from the original halogens, three-way switch, including the blue, nighttime viewing. We kept our Fluval edge filtration, which is actually rated up to 20 gallons, so we're covered there in terms of filtration ability. At what point or what size do you not call it a nano tank anymore? Is there a, is there a gallonage or is it kind of rule of thumb? Is it 20? Is it 18? What's typically the number that you keep in a nano? I think anything under a 20 gallon tank would be a nano tank, depending again. I mean, we are a global company and we have to offer products that are relevant to the specific location globally. You know, in Germany, they will not let you put fish or recommend fish in a tank any larger, uh, smaller, sorry, than 54 liters. You cannot do it. The society, the aquarium society within Germany won't let you do it. So we have to be careful as to what we're doing in terms of marketing globally any product offer we have. This year, Hagen entered the saltwater market. We know that we should have been in it for a few years now, but we didn't want to do it haphazardly. So we're starting small and we're starting compact. And what we're trying to do is put something onto the market that's good value, works well, is relevant to the saltwater hobbyist, but is not overly complicated. So we just come with a small nano tank, very simple to use skimmer, but very, very cost efficient, simple circulation pumps. And of course we have the range of salts, the range of liquids. Again, we're trying to offer something to more of a mass market and not inhibit them so that they can reach out and have access to the saltwater hobby.